first thing you're going to do when you open up your Lightroom catalog after returning from a photographic opportunity is you're going to download your pictures. But once you download your pictures, what's the next thing that you're going to do in order to get through these pictures? And for me, it's weeding out the good from the bad. Basically, the keepers from the haters. Luckily for us, Lightroom makes this really easy to do. And this is where flags come into play. When it comes to flags, there's only three letters that you need to know. P U X. P are for pics or any photographs that have potential. U are for all the photos where you're undecided. And X, well, those are the ones that you're going to reject or eventually get rid of and maybe quite possibly delete. Let me show you how easy this is to apply. First, select the image where you're going to begin and then just start making some decisions. If I like this photo, I'm going to hit P. Then I can use the arrow key on my keyboard to navigate to the next photo and then decide, do I want to keep it or do I want to reject it? In this example, I'm going to hit P for pick and go to the next one. Now, if I were to do this in real time, you'll see how quickly I could get through these images. So I'm going to hit P, P, X, 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 X. These are a little dark, so maybe I decided that I want to reject them. Believe it or not, even though they're a little dark, I, I know that I can boost the shadows and these will look pretty good. If I'm not sure, then I can just arrow past it. In other words, I don't have to put a P or an X on a photo if I'm not if I'm not sure. What if I change my mind? For example, this picture right here, I've applied an X to it. In other words, I flagged it to be rejected. Maybe I want to choose to keep it after all. All I have to do is hit P and that will change from an X to a P. Once you've done this process through all of your pictures, then how do you go about finding all of the ones that you've picked or all of the ones that you've X'd? It's simple. Head on up to attributes and choose which flag you want to find. So if I want to find all the picks, I'm going to click on the pick flag option. If I want to find the ones that I've rejected, I'm just going to hit the rejected flag. And just like that, I can find the picks or the rejects. I can even find the ones where I haven't made any decisions yet. And in this example, I'm looking for all the photographs where they are undecided. In other words, I need to go through and pick or reject these photos. Now, once you've gone ahead and picked or rejected all the pictures, the next level is where we get a little bit more specific. But for now, if this is all that you ever did to sort your pictures, you'd be much farther ahead in the process than most people out there. So grab your computer, grab a glass of wine, go through these selections, pick the keepers, reject the haters. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next episode.